Greetings YouTube, Sebastian here, and today we'll be looking at Pigments Polychrome Synthesizer, which is a wavetable and a analog hybrid synthesizer. You can use a wavetable mode or a analog mode in any of the engines. Um, so uh, we have our FM mod right here. You can have linear or exponential. Um, we'll keep it on linear. Sounds really good. And then we have this phase mod right here, which is, I believe, still FM. It's just applying it differently. You got different modes. Which is cool. And then we got this phase distortion mode. You get six different flavors. This fractal is pretty cool. You can also feed FM in here. If that's FM, but that's kind of cool. And then we have this wave folding, which is my favorite. So there is th three different types of wave folding. I like this one, which uh, ironically you cannot see this in uh, the effects version for some reason. So We'll sign an envelope to this. Kind of got a plucky texture already. So the analog engine's pretty cool. We'll just turn off the wavetable engine. We got uh, four different waveforms and three different oscillators. Plus, uh, we have pulse width modulation for only the square wave. And you can stack these how you like. You can go pretty nuts with this. Got this uh, modulation right here. Basically, the third final oscillator is like a uh, modulator that modulates or you can use noise you get you get white, red, and blue so you can create some crazy complex noisy sounds we have this drift right here, it's pretty cool basically makes your synth sound like it's been in the cold. You also have a unison mode for the wavetable oscillator. I forgot to mention you got a chord mode so in send D to we have chords. Or our classic which I prefer Next we got our filter section, um, which is my favorite section out of all of them. Um, you can have up to two different filters uh, in series or in parallel. So you can have endless sound design potential with this. So we can have this be a multi-mode, which is basically a set of plain Jane uh, Low pass, band pass, uh, notch, and and uh, high pass. Yeah, you can also do uh, filter FM with the modeled filters. So we can 
use engine one to FM uh, this filter. And this is a uh, state variable filter, which is the SEM. So you can do a lot of like combination filters with it. We got this matrix 12 filter, which is from the matrix 12 emulation. We have different. Very cool. Got the mini V filter from the from the mini V. It's a Moog style filter. You can drive it. And then we got this uh, selection down here, which is basically a surgeon filter. Do some cool stuff with these. And then we got uh, four modes. We even got a notch. So yeah. Um, there we go. So we got this notch. They sound pretty good. Um, try to make a bass patch. We got a comb filter with feedback and feed forward. And a phaser filter goes up to 12 pulls, so... A lot of different sounds you can get from this. And like I said before, you can have like a, a series of filters. So this is the formant filter. Q factor. Next, we have our our uh, modulation, which I'll go through briefly. So we got our uh, keyboard uh, and performance right here. Then we have our envelopes, our LFOs, our functions, which are basically multi-segment envelopes that can act like LFOs. We have our random, like sample hold, Turing, and uh, binary. I don't know what those do. Um, we have a combination, which you can combine mod, mod sources. So we can have, for instance, our function be modded by our, our macro by a sum. So that means that uh, our function won't happen unless we use this, uh, this macro right here. So grab that function, put it here. So that's pretty cool. Difference. It's not working, that's weird. Oh yeah. I gotta use a combination. So, right here. So yeah, it's basically like an aux auxiliary uh, modulation source. Um, next, we have our effects. We got 
delays, reverbs, distortions, and uh, choruses, flangers. But most importantly, we got this send bus right here. So you can basically add a reverb, a delay, any of the other effects, and you can send them to to there. So another thing I really like about this synth is you can just import your waveforms and it don't have a wavetable editor but it's got this morph button right here so it automatically interpolates the waveform smoothly. Off. So yeah, it does a pretty good job doing that. So we got our macros right here. You can use these to really change your sound in various ways without really diving too much into the interface when you're making presets. The effects are really good too. Multi-mode filter. The one thing I don't like about the multi-mode filter effect unit is it don't have a notch. It needs a notch filter. Or you can, I guess, do it right here. We also have distortions, wave folder being one of my favorites. And like I said before, I don't have the third option, just the sine and triangle. And we got our flanger. be a triangle or a sine, stereo or mono. Alright, and next and last thing I'm going to cover is the, the sequencer. We got an ARP mode. with the re regen and randomizer. So it'll basically generate uh, random art, art patterns for you. And it'll keep doing it, it's really cool. And we got this dice right here on like the amount of randomization you can have per per step and then we have this polyrhythm rhythm section basically cr creating polyrhythms and then we have this uh, sequencer mode which you can make your own sequences in here and have velocity and gate length and slides and you can set the pitches and I like how it highlights the different uh, semitones with a key and send semitones and right here you can see like the artist or sound designer. So what do I think about pigments? I like pigments. Pigments is really good. It's it's a CPU hog. That's one thing I don't like about it. Um, I love the wavetable and the 
analog modes in the engine. I love the filter section. I love the semi-modular architecture of the synth. And what I mean by that is you can go to these envelopes right here and you can have like a gate source. That's neat. I love how you can really process wavetables. And uh, I hope they add more different uh, engine types in the coming years. Um, and they really plan on adding stuff to this. But somehow I doubt this is going to be their their only original instrument. So let's go through some presets. So we'll start off with some bass. Thank <laughs> you. 
So that is Pigments by Arteria. Um, very, very amazing synth. Uh, I hope to see more cool stuff added in updates. And uh, I just, I just love the sound of it. Anyway, thanks for watching my video, and make sure you leave a like if you enjoyed the content. And have a nice day.